Hey, what's up guys? You've probably been here before and I've lived here at my home in Nashville uh, the longest that I've ever lived anywhere uh, ever since the house, since I lived at the house where I grew up with, with my parents back in Norway. Um, so a lot of you guys have been asking me about how my setup is for recording and all that sort of stuff. So uh, I'm actually moving and so before I move, let's just guide you through what's been my setup for the past couple years. And this is how I record all my YouTube stuff, uh, remote sessions and like anything else, gear demos, etc. Anything else that you can think of that I, that I do from my kind of home office here in Nashville. All right, so the setup is pretty simple. I have my work guitar here usually, um, just for easy access, and then obviously my main guitar, which I absolutely love. Mind blown how good it is. Um, other work guitars are, are just, some of them are mine and some of them are for demos, etc. Obviously spare cables. I have some just display pedals over here. Um, here are some other demo guitars that I just couldn't fit on a rack, so just for easy access basically. I have kind of a to-do list here, so I just know what I'm supposed to do and kind of keeps me on track. Uh, here's a light. Um, I s use that for videos sometimes and just obviously now. Uh, here's another light and then some others. I'm going to show you that here in a second. Here's my bass that I record the demos with, etc and more guitars. Just a simple music stand in case there's some sheet music I need to work on for work or anything like that. Here's my amp rig, my Victory Share 22, and my pedal boards. So my recording setup is pretty simple. Um, I usually run Logic. Uh, I have Pro Tools that I use sometimes, but usually Logic. And I use my iPad here with Sidecar, which works really good. So it's basically just a separate uh, screen and I can kind of toggle between it or I could use it if I record a video and I'm not on my computer I could use this with the Apple Pencil to kind of just toggle anything that works on my computer uh, My iPad also doubles uh, for kind of Skype or Zoom lessons or anything like that And here's a condenser mic to just make the audio a little bit better. It's a sure something I'll put the name below So my recording setup is pretty simple uh, the main guitar line goes into my fractal here, and from here I have two separate tracks that where one goes up to just the audio interface and creates just a DI in case I need to reamp or I want to run plugins. And then I have the obvious the the fractal line, and, and then I have another one that just goes here into my volume pedal. Uh, volume pedal is first in the chain because there's a tuner on here, uh, but this one in particular has a loop on it, so it's not actually intact until later. Basically from the volume to the V30, and then that goes into the Share F22 um, and goes back to the V30. So basically this toggles between having a V30 amp and the Share F22 amp, just based on what I want. So now it's the Share F. I have another foot pedal for that. And then obviously the clean sound also works with it. It's great. From the V30, it goes to the compressor, and then I have my volume post compressor, uh, which is to toggle the overall volume, which is something that's super important to me. So it almost works as an attenuator, not completely, but um, it's just kind of a master volume sort of a thing. And then from the volume goes into all the wet stuff, so the Mobius, the Volante, and then into the new neighbor Immerse, and then back into the amp. And then the cab, is it's just a simple dual mic setup. Uh, the 57 here is slightly off axis, just wherever I think it sounds good. And the the Nagi is actually right on the cone. And to me, it just sounds very even mixing the two of them into to a guitar track. And yeah, just running Logic off of here. And I have my MIDI keyboard here, super simple. I don't use it for anything else and basically just playing or pretending to play uh, MIDI drums. Uh, I have an Exonic X-Tone here that's rigged up to my iPad if I want. This cable up here and I could plug this in. Uh, I have a Peterson Stroke tuner on there or if I want to demo some new kind of plugins for the iPad, etc. All I need to do is take this cable here, plug it up to my interface here and suddenly this overwrites whatever mic setup I got up. A super important aspect of my workstation is this, the mug warmer keeps my coffee mug warm. And I actually taped a little uh, card reader for, for the camera here, so I can just plug into a memory stick here and it'll pop up on my computer, super convenient. I really like how portable my setup is 
with just uh, a laptop because I can just basically just bring all my stuff to Norway if I'm going home for a holiday or... So my recording setup is pretty simple. As I told you, it just goes into the fractal that copies the DI signal into the Apollo. Now I can toggle on the fractal volume pedal. I can mute the DI. And then just toggling between the volume pedals, I can add the amp. And for our recording setup, I would usually just mute the actual playback of all the tracks and just listen with the actual amp. see uh, this is a Nagy it's pretty quiet I have the 57 and I have my fractal line and I have the GI obviously this would be leveled out uh, just depending on on what I'm shooting etc so the more formal stuff is actually, I'm actually using this, this light over here and I have another light there. Their job is basically to light up the background as much as possible and then I get just the side of each of these key lights on myself. And uh, basically this is what you're gonna see in the video. So it's important that the chair is, is has a certain distance away from the wall so I'm not overexposing myself and the guitar and then I just have a tripod for uh, a b-roll camera which I just use my iPhone usually over here I have I keep all my kind of storage and, and strings etc here I actually solder funny enough uh, guitar stuff if need be and Kira is super excited about that she loves that I do that and uh, here's just like some extra spare parts it kind of gives me anxiety it's kind of a mess since in the middle of the move I have spare strings here and just like anything that you can think of just various parts cat capacitors if I'm trying to mod something or so as you're watching this video some of you guys might have some incredible ideas of what to do with the studio from here on uh, this is just how I was using it for the past couple of years and the majority of the, the lifetime of this sort of a style of my YouTube channel and uh, who knows what is going to be at my next place and i'm super excited to uh, to wrap it up here i'm super appreciative of everything that i've gotten done here and how effective it's been for me there's been some up and downs with different gear just breaking down and having to replace it and i've kind of wanted to just maximize efficiency uh, of my home studio basically but yeah i hope you like this video and let me know what you want to see next and i'll see you next time